Hi everyone, welcome to this lecture. Um, in this lecture, uh, uh, we're gonna learn about um, how we can um, extract or clip uh, raster data using uh, a shape file or a polygon. Uh, so in ArcGIS Pro um, and using a Jupyter Notebook Python script, uh, let's get started. So the first thing is I'll open ArcGIS Pro here. Um, so once you open ArcGIS Pro, uh, you open your project, uh, usually a new project, uh, or you can import your existing project. Um, since I've already I have my project, I can I can click here. But in your case, you need to create a new project. You can just um, provide a name and also um, give a location. Um, so, uh, for example, here I'll I'll create a location here, and I'll just name it zero zero. Uh, project um, geoanalysis. All right, you can um, name it differently. Uh, so I'll create my project and then create a new folder for this project. Usually, um, creates a folder for that specific project and create a project and a new um, ArcGIS um, pro project will open, which uh, includes a map canvas and a table of content and whatnot, okay? All right, so once you open your uh, ArcGIS um, map canvas or project, you can see the name of your project here. And we'll have to create a, a notebook, a Jupyter notebook here. Uh, the way to do that in, in ArcGIS Pro is um, create um, uh, click here a new uh, notebook or you can uh, go ahead and uh, do that in your uh, project folder you can um, uh, right click and just and um, uh, new and then uh, create a notebook but usually uh, this should be fine so I'll open my Jupyter notebook here and so first thing first I'll uh, import some uh, um, libraries, um, usually uh, the ArcPy, I'll import ArcPy and also um, import OS uh, to access some of the data, um, input data um, uh, for my um, clip uh, raster function. And next uh, thing is to um, create a working environment, uh, environment workspace here. So I'll provide um, the Location of the the, the folder that um, I'll I'll have as my my working directory, um, and next step is I'll define the uh, the raster that I'm using um, as part of my my uh, clipping analysis and also the shape file that I'll be using, and um, and I'll call the extract by mask function to apply clip and as you can see here. I'll have import raster here, which is already defined, and in mask data, which is the shape file. And finally, I'll create a, a name which combines the um, output work workspace as well as the uh, name of the, the raster output uh, after applying clipping. And then finally, um, save that um, by applying out extract by mask here, uh, dot save, and then I'll call that out name. Uh, and this will save my um, clipped version of raster. So um, to um, to give you a perspective what, what data I'm, I'm using here, um, so I'll be using this data. I'll be using um, uh, a conus level land cover data and um, a California uh, boundary data. data shape file and I'll not uh, calculate um, statistics for now so what I'm gonna do is um, so this is you know a land to land cover map um, at a conus level and this is um, LC map data uh, and for 2021 and so what I'm planning to do is just um, extract um, you know, land cover data for just one state here, in this case, uh, California, right? I can zoom in here. Um, so sort of what I need is instead of a national land cover map, I'll clip um, 
um, I want a clipped uh, version of the land cover data using this polygon. So that's what um, my uh, script here is doing. Um, so let's see, and I'll go ahead and um, execute, um, you know, import. Um, and and execute the, the main part of the function, which does the clipping, all right? And it's PD now, uh, you have this asterisk. What it means is that this cell is uh, executing and it's, it's uh, processing, it's not done. So uh, you can see that um, it, it shows, uh, if you go um, to toggle back to the map canvas of ArcGIS, you can see the same data, but it's showing you a busy sign, which is, you know, currently processing that um, uh, analysis, which is a clipping analysis. So let's wait, um, you know, um, about a minute, and uh, hopefully we'll have the clipped version of this this land cover data. Let's toggle back to the Jupyter notebook. All right, now uh, we have our extracted uh, raster data. Here, as you can see, uh, if I um, remove the Coda's live land cover, we have a California um, state-based um, um, raster data here. So it's already clipped by the um, polygon or shape file that we, we use. Um, you, can, you can update a color ramp here uh, using different approach, you can use um, existing color ramp, or you can write um, a code uh, manually. Um, uh, you can you can adjust or change these colors. But for now, this is not uh, the objective of this this uh, video. Um, I'll, I'll give you a demo how to change color ramp in other in other um, uh, tutorial. Uh, for now, though, so that's how uh, you can extract um, a raster data using a polygon or shape file. Um, to um, to perform some sort of uh, subsetting uh, for a smaller study area.